Hey, welcome everybody. It's me, John Zadar, hairly noticeable under all this. This is the weekend of June 26th and you're watching On Top and Hot, where we like to discuss OTC and penny stocks that have potential to make us money. More to the point, I'm looking for stocks under five bucks on any market that have potential. Now, I particularly like to trade those major exchange penny stocks for three good reasons. One, they're free to trade, no transaction fees. Two, there's more volume up on the major exchanges by a long shot. And three, there's more money up on the major exchanges as well. So those are three good reasons I think you'll agree. Now, when I look for my hot penny stocks, I do my research through the charts. I'm looking for a chart that has heat. I want to see a breakout setup. I want to see volume coming in. Then I go looking for that catalyst. So when I find it, these are the sort of stocks I'm going to play and the sort of stocks I'm going to share with you. And I got one in particular I want to share with you today. This is ticker NBY Nova Bay Pharmaceuticals. Now her chart, it is an atypical breakout chart. Again, <laughs> that 200 day SMA has come down and the price is ready to cut through it again. She tried this about two or three months ago, had a nice bounce, but failed, and she came down even further. And now she's at a critical point. She is down at 52 week lows, which can be a catapult in itself. The company's been building up momentum since last year and since March when they've made some deals. So the company is looking good. Now they are involved in three sectors, I guess you would say. They have three subsidiaries. They have one that is working with eye care, they have one that is working with wound care, and they have another one that is working with skin care. These three markets together is almost $700 billion. And if they can just get a small piece of that, that is a lucrative income. If they can get a big piece, they could be a big company. Well, NBY, she finished the day today at 80 cents with just a little over 7% gains. And she is a penny stock on the New York Stock Exchange. Now, they give us a wee description here, but I'm going to give us more. I could go running around on their websites. They've got one for the company. They've got one for their eye care, skin care, and wound care. But that's a lot of bouncing around. They've got a lot of products as well. I don't even know how many products they've got. They've probably got more than 80 or 100 of them easily. But what we're going to do is dive into the most recent financial and they break down their three subsidiaries for us right there. Without a doubt, the best place I like to do my research is in the most recent financial. They've got all the information in there from the day the company started. So why do I want to go running around on Google when everything is in one document? It makes life and research simple. So we are in the 10Q, their most recent quarterly report that ended March 31st, 2023. And just underneath the numbers is boom, there's your description of the company. You'll normally find it right up at the top. We have a description of their three subsidiaries, Avanova, their eye care company, uh, Derma Doctor, their skin care, and phase one, their wound care. They tell us here that Nova Bay Pharmaceuticals develops and sells scientifically created and clinically proven eye care, skin care, and wound care products. Our leading product, Avanova Antimicrobial and Lash Solution, or the Avanova Spray, are proven in laboratory testings to have broad antimicrobial properties as it removes foreign material, including microorganisms and debris, from the skin around the eye, including the eyelid. Avanova spray is formulated with our proprietary stable and pure form hypochlorous acid. Ooh, I hate the word acid and I in the same sentence, but fear not. They tell us right here, it has been cleared by the FDA and can be sold in the United States. Avino spray is available direct to consumers, primarily through online distributors. They sell this stuff everywhere on their own site, Walmart site, CVS. This is also going through prescriptions being dispensed by eye care professionals. It is everywhere, folks, online, offline. You can get it through websites. You can get it at your doctors. They also have other eye care products being offered under the Avanova Eye Care brand, including Nova Wipe, Eye Lubricant, a moist heating eye compress, and an eye check eyelid eyelash mirror. <laughs> and one of the products I thought was very interesting to help with your dry eye, they got these gel caps that you orally take, you swallow, and they help moisture get into your eyes. How neat is that? 
The second subsidiary they have is Derma Doctor. The company offers 30 dermatologist developed products targeting common skin concerns, ranging from aging and blemishes to dry skin, perspiration, and keratosis pilaris. Did I say that right? The Derma Doctor branded products are marketed and sold through the Derma Doctor website, well known traditional digital beauty retailers, and a network of international distributors. We acquired Derma Doctor in November 2021, and since completing the transaction, we've been working to integrate and expand Derma Doctor business in order to achieve strategic objectives contemplated by the acquisition, including revenue growth, cost reductions, and overall profitability. And this, this subsidiary has been growing very well here recently. They work with all sorts of skincare from psoriasis to acne to dry skin. I mean, lots and lots. And as I said, they got a ton of products over there on their site. And the third subsidiary is phase one. The company also manufactures and sells its proprietary form of hydrochlorous acid for the wound care market through our Neutral Phase and Phase 1 branded products. Neutral Phase and Phase 1 are used for the cleansing and irrigation as part of surgical procedures, as well as treating certain wounds, burns, ulcers, and other injuries. They primarily are getting a lot of their business from diabetics. They need this product more than a lot of people for wounds that just aren't healing well. And they have been doing a lot of business with the wound care. Here recently, they've gotten some big orders from around the world. So the company's got a lot of different products. These are just the three sectors that they're working in. Jumping over to their website, you can browse all the different products that they have. Let's go take a look at what the relative volume for the company was today. Relative volume dropped. Oh boy, like I said, the underdog under the radar. She went from 825,000 down to 239,000. So she had a big drop today, but I gotta say the market was hard today. The S&P, the NASDAQ, I mean, everything fell really hard today on Friday. I'm sure it had a lot to do with what Powell said on Thursday about rate hikes still coming. No surprises over here. We know exactly what's going on with the share structure. We've got a low float. Since they had that reverse split in November, the outstanding share count fell down to 2.7 million. That's for everybody. That is all the shares on the market right now. That is for us, the insiders, the institutions, the hedge funds, everybody. For us, our float is 1.5 million unheard of on the major exchanges. That is extremely low and that comes into play on any chart, but especially a chart that's at a 52 week low that you're expecting to bounce. When it bounces, the volume is going to come in and the price because of this float is going to be on top of that tsunami wave like a ping pong ball, not being able to come down. And that's one of the reasons I'm sharing this stock with you. Let's take a look at her financials. They're doing pretty good. Every year for the last four years, they've been growing at a nice clip, starting off at 6.5 million. We know it's millions because we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers down here. And here in 2022, they've more than doubled that 6.5 to 14.4 million. And they got to keep about 50% of it, 7.7 .7 million. Looking at the quarterly, they're maintaining, they're doing a little more than 3 million each quarter. Now things are getting better for them. They've just cut their expenses, how much they're putting out, and they've increased their profit margins. So the money they make is gonna be more profitable. Disclosures for the company. Now the company did come out with an 8K just a couple of weeks ago. This is just about changing their bylaws. And then we've got six Form 4s. These can be very interesting. Form 4s are filed whenever the insiders, the management, acquire or dispose of shares of the company stock. So you know when they're buying or selling. Well, they all acquired shares, but nobody bought them. All of them got 858 shares apiece. I don't know why, but they're restricted shares and you can't do anything with them. Well, in a year they can convert them and they'll get 858 normal shares. So in one year, we're gonna be adding roughly 5,000 shares to the float. Not much to worry about now, not much to worry about then either. Taking a look at the news, this news only goes back to March 
And as I was saying, the company's been building up momentum since last year. They've been adding products, adding distributors, revenues have been growing. And that momentum has just continued right through the new year. They tell us here in April that the stock jumped 20%, launching their Derma Doctor Psoriasis Cream on QVC. They go on to tell us here that the company launched Derma Doctor's new Comfort and Joy Psoriasis Therapeutic Moisturizing Cream on the QVC network as well. Now here in April, they got a big deal taken care of. They had $3 million debt wiped out. The people they owed the money to took that money and got shares for it instead. So they're now investors. That $3 million is invested in the company and not owed by the company. That's sweet. Then they had a big deal here in May. The company fulfills a $1 million order for Nutraface Skin and Wound Cleanser for China Pioneer Pharma Holdings. Diving into that quickly, they tell us that a leading Chinese importer and marketer of branded pharmaceuticals and medical devices has placed a $1 million order for Nova Bay's Nutriphase Skin and Wound Cleanser. Nova Bay has fulfilled this order and expects to be recognizing the revenue in the second quarter of 2023. Right now. Give us the money. You owe it to us right now. Wow. You know, if you think about it, those last two news presses we looked at, the $3 million converted from debt to investment and that $1 million order, that is a four-day spread from April 27th to May 1st. Four days, they added $4 million to the company. Wow, cha-ching, I am liking that math. Then we got a real interesting piece of news that came out May 5th. Phase One Health collaborates with a nonprofit humanitarian organization to supply Nov Bay Pharmaceuticals Phase One Skin and Wound Cleanser to the Ukraines as a donation. This isn't a deal or anything like that. They are literally giving $3 million worth of their product to the Ukrainians. Very nice of them. Then they have another product they're putting on the QVC, their KP Duty Lotion and Scrub Ultra Dual Set for dry, rough, bumpy skin to be featured on QVC at a special price. And right now, what is the company doing? They are commercializing, they are selling everything. <laughs> they are selling the stock at these virtual conferences. They are selling their products at these business conferences. They are selling in Great Britain, the Middle East, South America, Central America, North America. They're online, offline, in doctor's offices, pharmacies. These people are everywhere. They are ubiquitous. God, do I love that term, which means everywhere. Very, very common. This company is growing fast right now. The momentum is just picking up. We've got price targets out there, which we didn't cover, but we got three of them. We have one at $6, one at $8, and one at $12. You're looking at roughly 700% gains, 1,000% uh, gains, and 1,500% gains if we get there from where we are. And the charts are building up momentum as well. Let's go take a look at that. You ready to do some charting? Me too. We're going to look at NBY on Thinkorswim. This is the free trading platform I got when I signed up with TD Ameritrade, and that was free too. So this is Nova Bay Pharmaceuticals six-month, four-hour chart. Those purple lines, those are our price targets, six, eight, and twelve dollars. The high on the six-month chart is five dollars and seven cents. We did that at the very end of October. We actually tagged the 200-day SMA doing that. And from there, she slipped and fell. We had a bit of a reprieve right here, but she continued her fall, hitting a low of 48 cents at the beginning of June. Right now, we're just under double that at 80 cents. Now, like I said, she had a reprieve here. Looked like she could have, should have broke out. She got up on top of that 200, had her first intentional break there when it was still falling. It got flat. She got on top of it just didn't happen. She was up there a couple weeks, lost her footing and slipped down to that low bubble. But right now, things are happening again. Let me see if I can open this up for us so we can see. There you go. So she's been falling, falling, falling down to this low bubble. And from that low bubble, we've changed trend. 
we are now going up. It's not a strong climb, but it doesn't have to be. It's a change of direction. That's what we needed. So she has been in this trend climbing, getting up over top of her 50 day SMA. She's been up there secure for quite a while. And now she's starting to push off and she's on her 20 day SMA working towards that 200. Now there's not a lot of volume to talk about, right? She fell from like about 870,000 down to 240,000. So she lost a lot of volume. Well, imagine that volume coming back in with a float of 1.5 million. Woo, you're talking about hitting a golf ball with a baseball bat. It's out of here. That's what I think is gonna happen. She is now showing us her intention to climb. Our oscillators, our PPO is climbing. Our MACD has just had a crossover and starting to climb. And our RSI is up at 63 right now. So everything is looking good. 20 day, one hour view. That's a nice looking chart there. Bouncing off of that low, she changed her direction completely. She's now going up. Look at this, how quickly she wanted to climb. She went right through her 50, directly to the 200 in one day. And she's been sitting up there for many days now, getting secure, right? And now she's getting ready to climb. She's jumped off of her 200, onto her 50, onto her nine. Hitting that high today of 80 cents and pulling back just a little, but it looks like we've got some positive aftermarket activity there. Osculators look good. PPO up, MACD up, RSI up at 66. Everything looks strong. Five day, five minute view. All right, let's extend this all the way to the right. Look at that. So what do we got here? We got a low bubble in this corner, 66 cents and a high bubble in that corner, the way we like to see it, 80 cents. We were underneath this channel, which she's been traveling in. She broke out of it, bit scary. Came back into it, got on top of her 200. That supported her. She's now inside the channel, riding the bottom, crossed the center, and very quickly, once she crossed the center, hit her head on the top. Bounced down to the 50-day SMA and is now climbing again. Looking like she's gonna break out of this channel and probably start to climb. And if that volume comes in, Wow, if a nice piece of news comes out to bring in the volume, wow. I think this is a really hot chart, even though it doesn't show that wild breakout we like to see. The company's building up momentum. Their revenues are getting stronger. They are expanding operations. They're working hard. I like NBY. It does belong on your watch list. I am not just saying that to say it. I mean it. Put it on your watch list. When you're looking at your charts, your watch list should be up you will see NBY jump to the top and see that volume number get big. When you see that volume number get big, remember she's only got 1.5 million shares. She's going to fly. That's when you're gonna run to her real quick. NBY, she's got a lot going for her right now. Bouncing off of that 52 week low, we could see some hot activity. And with a float of only 1.5 million, oh my God, some tremendous gains. The company's got lots of products we did not get to go through. You can go over to their primary website, novabay.com. They'll have the links to the other sites there. Maybe you actually wanna go shopping for some of these skincare, eye care, wound care products. They are hot, they are all over the world, and that's why I think the company's gonna do well. These are the sort of products that all of us can use one time or another. So the company's working hard, they're expanding, their revenues are growing, and their charts just changed trend off of a 52-week low. I'm liking it all right now. But of course, do your own due diligence, folks, please. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.